We meet thousands of people in our lifetime. Friends, family, colleagues, lovers, who all make an impact, however small. Most of these people will drift from our mind as time passes, like an old photograph fading in the sunlight. There are some people, however, that can come into our life and change it forever. For me, that person was Jack. You're talking to me? You talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. <laughs> I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Here's Johnny! And if you don't, I will kill you. I will find you. And I'll kill you. The first rule of Fight Club is, nobody talks about Fight Club. Okay, that's great. Thanks very much. Aye. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Tough audition? Nightmare. I'm asked to Blaine's again. Yeah, sure, there's always the next one. No, not even mine. Not... Aye. It's the last one I've lined up. Same here. Coffee? Aye. Uh, starting to hang out, nothing for me, man. Like, uh, I don't know. Don't be thinking like that. I mean, it's just the right audition hasn't come along. You'll get it soon enough. The right one will come along. Not if I keep on fluffing my lines, man. <laughs> sure. You put yourself under too much pressure. I mean, I don't beat myself up too much whenever I get a line wrong. You just, mm. I mean, they will recognize your talent. But when, like, you know, like, I mean, that's been years now, man. Um, I mean, like, you look at Trisha, she's in that stage production now, going around the UK and Ireland. D David's in I don't know how many ads in the past two years. And then you get Gemma and Darren, or Romeo and Juliet, and a big massive stage production. We all started off at the same pace, and they are miles ahead of me now, man. It's, it's disheartening. You know, it really is, man. Sure, look. Uh, remember you had that, um, that toothpaste commercial? Um, that was a oh, nationwide thing. Man, that was, well, that could have been anybody. It was a big pink toothbrush. I couldn't exactly say that's me. And that was nine years ago. That's the last thing I did. It was nine years ago. Jeez, that was nine years ago. I know, exactly. I mean, at least you're still at it. I mean, you're going your craft, you're going to rehearsals, and uh, you never know what'll come out of the new production like, so. Do you know what it is yet, or? No, no, I mean, uh, you know what Alice is like with these things, keeping our cards close to her chest. What, she hasn't told you? Her boyfriend? No, she would Lizzie no. tell you. Ah, no, man. Lizzie tells me nothing. Like, we're not even speaking at the moment. I mean, she's not answering phone calls, she's not answering texts. I think this is serious, I think this might be it. You know, a cold shoulder treatment is the worst. Like. Oh, it does my head on. It does my head on, man. Anyway, I hope this production isn't any of those artsy fartsy things that Alice has done before, man. I can stand that. No, no, I think she has something um, on her mind, like Shakespeare or something like that. Right. Shakespeare, cool. Hopefully I get to kill someone on this one. It's a bit messed up, where'd that come from? Hmm. No, you know what I mean, Shakespeare, like, you know, it's like British stabbing Caesar, things like that, you know, something you can get your teeth into, you know, something that has a bit of, a bit pretty, of passion. Pretty dark, anyway. Ah, well, you know what I mean. Well, you never know, it could be like a stage adaptation of a Disney musical or something like that. Well, Disney's dark too, man. You know, you think a Lion King, Bambi, it's all, it's all the same, like, it's really dark, it's all about, Love and hate, life and death, you know, it's, it's a pretty so. dark world, like, you know. Are you off to work, man? Yeah, man, those dishes won't wash themselves. Well, well you can continue the struggle of life and death and love and hate <laughs> at seven o'clock. Yes. Well, thanks for the coffee, man, I'll get you back. No bother, no bother.
right, let's get started. Um, just want to first of all thank everybody for coming. It's great to see you all back to start of a new production. Uh, following the last play, um, it was such a success. I thought we'd be a wee bit more ambitious this time. Book the theatre out for a two week run and that's going to be at the end of next month. So basically we're going to be working our socks off until then, until we get it right. I have uh, tickets going on sale next Friday, so I want you all to sell as many of them as possible just to get the cost covered. What is it? What are we doing? So as I'm sure you're all dying to know, uh, drum roll please. And a lot of you may have already figured this out, it is going to be Shakespeare's most infamous Scottish play. Oh, is it Macbeth? Yes, but you're not supposed to mention it by its name. Right, well, why not? Uh, it's bad luck, the play's curse if you mention it by name. Well, why are you doing a curse play? So, uh, as I was saying, and as I'm sure you all know, it's a classic. I think it'd be great for us all to get behind, be great to do as a production, as a group, as long as no one actually mentions it by its name. Yeah, so we're all geared up, we're all ready for it. We can yeah, do this, yeah. guys, yeah. easy peasy. Yes, all right. Hollywood's next five stars. Right? Yeah, we actually just started a new play tonight, new production. Oh, yeah. It's uh, do you know Shakespeare's Scottish play? Macbeth. Uh, you're not actually meant to say it. That's a bit of a superstition. Okay, well, it's not correct. Well, good luck with your Scottish play. Yeah, you're not meant to say good luck either. It's actually break a leg. Who broke a leg? <laughs> uh, no, but yeah. Right. Usual. Aye, yeah. <laughs>
Lucy. Lucy. Lucy! 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 You right, Mom? What about you? Hey, folks, what's the crack? He's okay. Ah, good, good. Uh, how's the head today? Ah, uh, I was late for work again, man, but um, the boss is angry with me, but, you know, again. Yeah. I but man, Lacey came back this morning. I tried to talk to her, and I was like, you know, I was trying to ring her. I tr tried running run her after her, but I'm not, I don't know, she's not talking to me, and now my boss is killing me. I'm just on a 15 minute break, and I'm. Uh, well, sorry yeah. to hear that. What is up there, anyway? Oh, we're just gonna get a bite to eat before rehearsals here. Right. Ah. Oh. All right. Aye. Aye. Okay. Right. Rehearsals. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Right. Okay. Fair enough. I won't keep you slick, you know. All right. Well, I'll see. I'll let you get back to work here. <sighs> right. All right. Well, be on time. Aye. Wash your hands, put on your nightgown, look not so pale, I tell you yet again, Bank was buried, he cannot come out on his grave. Uh, um, <coughs> uh, so it is. Not the line I was looking for, Jack, but we'll just stand it there, guys, we'll have a wee break for tonight, all right? Mm -hmm. Good, man. Good, 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 good. Right, sweet. Seriously, Jack. Have you been on that all day? I'm on it's grand. I'm here, I'm not. You know, it's fine, I'm fine, I'm here, I'm crying. Jack, go home and drunk. What do you need to
Yes, yes, Paul, Paul, yes, lad. I, I, man, I'll be in ten minutes, okay? Uh, sorry, I slept in. Hey, no, uh, no, get, man, get, uh, just give me ten minutes. I'll, I'll be in. No, no worries. Um, hey, hey, Paul. I am Grant. That's it's Grant. I punched the wall. I don't know why. I lost my job today. Jesus, Jack. I know. I know. Look. Oh, hi. Well, I slept on again. And, uh, but you, what is going on with you, Jack? There's nothing. Nothing's going on. It's fine. It's fine. You just you know, do this. And you really need to pull yourself together. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. I don't like that job anyway. You know, and like you say, my big breaks around the corner, that's what you always say, like, so, you know, we'll do this and see. Not if you keep doing this. Jeez, uh, do you need to talk to somebody or something? I'm talking to you. You're the only one who can talk to you. Lacey's sort of a picture or something. Jack, if you do need to talk to somebody, you can't talk to me. listen, let's forget about talking and shit. You know, let's just talk about Macbeth or whatever the stupid superstition is. Like, let's just do this and... What's up there? It's gonna be vodka, it's gonna be Just vodka? Mm -hmm. Jesus. Jesus.
Go home, sober up. I'm not gonna ask you again. Fucking beer! Jesus! What are you doing? So we're gonna talk about what happened last night, or? There's nothing to talk about. It's, it's fine. Do yeah, you need to go back to that bar and apologise? I, I don't man, I was a bit drunk. All the apologising was done last night, it's fine. It's grand. Is this what this is about? To... Sure, we'll probably got barred anyway. Fine, I'll go back tonight and apologise, right? Is that what you want? Is that... Is that us? Good? No? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this tonight. No, I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. No. Jack, what are you doing? You need to let me stay here tonight, man, please. Please. I've just, I've just come from the bar. I went to apologize. And I got in there fight with those two boys. I swear to God, you need to let me stay here, man. I have nowhere else to go, please. Right, right, well, come on in. Or something, man, just to blow off cobwebs here. Oh, yeah. Fancy. Before we go, Jack, I just wanted to have a bit of a, a bit of a chat with you. Right. What's what's going on? Or? Like we're all a bit concerned. Uh, I mean, About we've what? been getting into fights, oh, drinking more. On, man, don't be at it. I mean, in rehearsals, you're just constantly distracted. Hey, but I, I don't do that stuff, man. It's Look, not... I mean, if you need anybody to talk to, oh, no. you have everybody around you. You know, you've got me. You've got Lacey, you've got, you've even got the guys at rehearsals. I mean, obviously they're going to be there for you as well. People absolutely care about what's going on. I mean, Jack, we don't know who you are at the minute. And even if you, even if you don't want to talk to us, have you ever considered speaking to a professional about, about what's going on? No, man, I'm not doing this. I'm not, before we're getting coffee, man, I'm not okay.
safe inside our bubble With love to shield us from everything When it popped, I was not prepared For everything that came pouring in Jack. I gave him a name after Alice saved me from suicide that night. Jack had gradually taken control of my life and he led me to a very dark place. In the end, I'd lost all sight of who I was. I decided to reach out to professionals who gave me the help I needed to deal with my own issues. I was confused, frustrated, angry and lost, but just talking to someone got it off my chest which was a great first step. It's now a year since that day and I'm happy to say I'm in a much better place. I've learned to be more open with my friends and family about my mental health struggles and I've found that once I started talking about it everybody could relate to similar struggles in their own lives. I now keep a regular check on how I'm feeling and I speak up if I need help. Jack can affect everyone's life at some point and often sneaks up without us realising he's affecting our thoughts, mood and behaviour. Learning to recognise when we're struggling is important and just talking to a friend, a relative, doctor or one of the many support organisations can be a lifesaver. I've learned to live my life as an adventure and to make the most of every day because you never know what day will be your last. <laughs> Silver light 